So this is a very good lesson. If you are someone who lives in Newcastle area, so maybe a doctor working for the NHS, um, you're passing your test or you need to pass your test and you may be driving to Stafford. So here in this lesson, we're going to be driving from Newcastle area to Stafford, picking out some of the um, roundabout junctions and what to look out for. And also quite a good route, quite a simple route actually, to get to Stafford. Okay, so there's a road at the top of the road here, and we're going to go left. Okay. See, again, a bit wide, oh, isn't yes. it? Yeah, do you see, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, we'll just take your time. left at the top of the road here
Okay, and then you want to go right at the top of this next road on the right. This one here, yeah. That's okay, it's very well. That's better, that's square. Situation here, yeah. Look at that. I don't know what's going on. Buses, there or car. Never want to go too near, because you mm -hmm. see what it does. It it blocks your view, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also people think you've parked. So is it clear? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So check your mirrors. A signal here could be good, beneficial, help people. The That's a weird. Hazards. Thing. Yeah. Not hazards. View signal right to say you're going round. Oh. But. There's something called like a hold back position. So next time we come to a situation like that, mm -hmm. just hold back more. Okay. And then you can see more and it's easier to get around. Okay, it's so coming to our first set of traffic lights and we are going to our first set of traffic lights where we're turning right and we're going to turn right at the top of the road, yeah? So signal right. Yep, so signal right. So mirror, mirror, signal right. There you go. Yep, signal right. Stopping it. Then we're just going to pull forward to the middle. If there's no oncoming cars, just go. If there is, we have to wait in the middle. Okay, there you go. So, again, there's no oncoming cars. Keep going. Can you see? If you ever get confused, look for the keep going. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, yeah? So you just flow. So even if the my my signal is open, even yeah. then I have to look that. Yeah, for oncoming cars, right? Yeah. So keep that in mind, and we're stopping a second, and I'll go over that, all right? Yeah. Just to clarify that, that's turning right at crossroads controlled by lights. Okay, right? Yeah. Now got um, a roundabout coming up and what we're going to do is take the second exit straight ahead yeah so my advice on roundabouts is get a look behind you but go slower on the approach mm -hmm. not signaling yet so go slower yeah so you've got time to look if it's clear like now go can you see Look quite good doesn't it yeah it's, it's that yeah, that's it, then you signal off. It's that speed control on the approach helps you make the right decision. If you need to stop, it's gentle. Mm -hmm. If um, if there's a gap there, it gives mm -hmm. you more time to see. But you come up quick, you end up braking hard, that's when you can get it from behind. So, right, yeah, all about control. That's what we're looking for at the moment. Right, so now, at this roundabout here, we're going to go left, which is gonna be your first exit. A little bit further down, it's a very, very busy junction, but when we get down there, we're going to go there. It's a roundabout? It's a roundabout, well, you'll see it in a second. You can see, you see the sign for it, yeah? Straight. Now we're gonna go left. Left. Okay, so now's a great time. So mirror, signal what left. What happened? I'll tell you, that's just the cameras on the front because you've gone near the white line. 
he's off the gas, so give the signal left. We go left, we're going left is my way. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up. So speed limit here is 50, yeah? He pulls out, he's going to take a little bit of time to pick up, so just take your time, it's no problem. There you go, it's picking up his speed now. Now, we're going to come off the next exit. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to go right at the roundabout, okay, yeah? So my advice is when you come off the slip road, don't come off in the left lane. Leave it later before you turn in so you come off in the right lane, ready to turn right at the roundabout. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So there's a sign here for coming off. Normally, when you get these slashes telling you how many metres, mm -hmm. or how many yards, things like that, then you indicate left now is great. Okay, mm -hmm. so signal left. But keep the pace up on the dual carriageway. Don't lose your speed so with the traffic flows. And like I said, don't turn in early. Don't turn yet. Keep yourself straight. Keep it straight. And then come off so you come off in the right lane. Mm -hmm. So all that means is it cuts out another lane change for you, it makes it easy. Now we're going right at the roundabout, going to head down towards Stone, okay? So mirror signal right. Okay, so when you come on, it's light control, so you can keep going. No, don't need to stop, keep going, can you see? Keep going, don't, don't need to worry. So we stay here, in this lane, it's the only one going right, and then as we come over, we check our left mirror, when we get fully into the left lane. Left lane, left lane, there you go mate. Got it, left lane, the left lane. Difficult. You just move over, yeah, keep going, keep going. So you're in this lane, they can all pass you, and then you carry on, yeah? When the roundabout is controlled by lights, mm -hmm. it's dangerous to suddenly stop, do you see? Mm -mm. Just have confidence that it's good and, and go, yeah? So this is gonna be your journey, not, not that bit that we've just done. You know, from where you come, Turn left out by Aldi, and this will follow you all the way down here. It's actually a really nice little trip to um, to Stafford. It's not, it's not, not, not horrible. Okay. I totally believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think. I, I mean, think first two trips would. I wanna be. I think you probably want to do a first couple of trips. Maybe go out for. A, Trip with your husband, go, yes. go and get that a Costa coffee or something down there, yes. and then go. <laughs> he was saying, he was saying, like, we should go, but I was a little bit scared, so I thought yeah. I should take classes. Yeah, yeah, so I feel more confident. But I, I think once, once you start doing this trip and you see it, mm -hmm. and like I say, you know, two or three times with him, get a coffee or something, come back, mm -hmm. it's it's um, it's not a bad trip to see, and you mm -hmm. kind of learn your little bits. So if you have a look here, look ahead here, mm -hmm. set of traffic lights, but again we're continuing straight ahead, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now anything with lights where they're red, it's great, just ease off, just come off the gas, give these guys a chance to get moving, you don't have to brake too much, just come off the gas and then it carries on. The danger part with lights is when they've been green a long time. Mm -mm. That's why you want to keep knowing who's behind you. That's mm -hmm. why mirrors are so important. But here, carry on. Even if they changed now, I'd mm -hmm. carry on. I wouldn't, you know, 
suddenly stop because you're already on the lights. Then here, these next lights coming up, they're pedestrian crossings. Now, depending what time you're going to work in Stafford, these can get particularly busy because of Trenton Garden, especially at weekends and stuff, mm -hmm. and bank holidays, because obviously people are all going to Trenton Garden, it gets quite busy there. This next roundabout is the Trenton Garden roundabout, okay? So, if you have a look, we're going straight ahead. So, you can see that it's in the left lane at the moment, um, but it's that middle lane. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Middle one, middle. Mm -hmm. There. Got it? Middle lane. Can you get? So the left is just for going left. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Yep. And then back into your left lane. Can you see here? So 60 mile an hour road, perfectly fine to increase your speed. As long as what you've got in front is good distance, good stopping distance, then we're all good. So away you go, yeah? speed limit change here this is what you need to be watching once you get your confidence more and more your speed might pick up get a lot of tickets along here <laughs> <laughs> okay and then you want to go second exit so no signal as of yet you see happy okay. that's the first exit second one yeah that's, I think that's the monkey sanctuary there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, so 40.
else. Yeah, but it's not it's not a problem, right? Yeah? Okay, there's two lanes, people can overtake you, do you see? Okay, this is about just building your confidence up. If this is the route that you're gonna go, mm -hmm. then you wanna get then you wanna understand it, you wanna build your confidence up on it. Do you see what I mean? It's not the end of the world, is it? A little bit slower. But once you get like roads like this, clear, isn't it? Just go faster. It's fine. Yeah, but it's not it's not a problem, right? Yeah? Okay? There's two lanes, people can overtake you, do you see? Okay, this is about just building your confidence up. If this is the route that you're gonna go, mm -hmm. then you wanna get then you wanna understand it, you wanna build your confidence up on it. Do you see what I mean? It's not the end of the world, is it? A little bit slower. But once you get like roads like this, clear, isn't it? Just go faster, it's fine. Again, just break in, give yourself more time, yeah? Let's go a little bit slower. Is it clear? And then keep it going, can you see? Left mm -hmm. lane? Mm -hmm. Lovely. Perfect, well done, beautiful. This is an easy roundabout, this one. Don't need to signal. It just kind of leads on. If you was going to go round, that's when you would go there, do you see? That's straight. Like that. So it was first exit. Yeah, first exit, just straight ahead, yeah? Just break a little bit. Break, 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 break a bit harder. Can you see next roundabout? Straight, straight ahead, yeah? All again, so clear, keep going. 
perfect. Can you say? Okay, then you want to go straight ahead at this roundabout. There's two roundabouts together here, yeah? So let me just give you a little bit of help here. We're in the middle lane, because that's straight ahead. Can you see? Okay, so again, go slower. Be on the brake, don't want to come up. You want control, it's clear, keep going, yeah? So on this one, it's middle lane again, can you see? And then you come off, you can see the straight ahead left of the two so don't worry about signaling there it's clear keep going can you see it's all right but keep more in the left left lane left can you see done right, yeah otherwise you end up in the right and then they undertake yeah so you're trying to keep in the left yeah just trying to have a nice journey see the lights obviously you do just nice and easy just ease off ease off the gas okay they will change if you come off the gas it'll all fall into place do you see there you go it's all about being relaxed See? You're off to do your doctoring up in Stafford. Have your radio on, listen to your music. This will be the nice part of your day. Okay, so if you have a look, can you see there's 400 yards? It looks potentially like there's something, yes. but hang on, 400 yards, turn off your signal, it's quite a long way, do you see? So let's see if we can get rid of these guys first, and then you can move over, do you see? Yeah, sometimes you just want to get rid of these people behind you, otherwise, they're pushing right up behind you. It's another roundabout, and it's straight, yeah. The left should always be like gravity, so once that's clear, then you just be pulled back into the left. Again, this roundabout straight ahead, yeah? But slower, more time. This is a more of a busier roundabout, but it's all right. No, it's not the end of the book. Yep, yeah, well done. Happy? One. On the other side of the road, when you come back from work, there's an hour that you can stop and get some tea. Mm -hmm. So it's nice, like, because sometimes, I know you live at the bottom by Audi, but sometimes it'll be quite busy, but there's a nice, nice one here you can just pop into. Mm -mm. <laughs> Although I guess it's quite handy for you, isn't it, now, that Audi? Mm -mm. Very good, isn't it? seems the uh, way is quite straightforward. Very straightforward. That's what I said to you. It's probably one of the most straightforward mm -hmm. trips to work. You come out of your house, you turn left, you just stay straight mm -hmm. all the way. This is your last roundabout mm -hmm. until you get to the one in Stafford where we're going to turn left. So this is your last straight ahead roundabout, and then it's a reasonable distance up until um, Stafford, the out the outskirts of Stafford. So a little tip, yeah, we're following towards Stafford, 
Um, you see the white line in the middle? Mm -hmm. Okay. You see that little mirror there? Mm -hmm. If you keep your position next to the white line, okay? It puts you in the perfect position for going straight, yeah? Because obviously the left lane just it's goes going left. To the, left. the right lane is going straight and right, but this is the one that we want. So you're here, if it's clear, and then you can see the road markers quite good here. You come back in the left, can you yeah. see? Don't worry so much about these guys. You just kind of ease off, do you see? Just let them pick up, so you stay here, right? Okay, so this vehicle, is, it looks like it's picking up speed reasonably quick, so we just stay behind yeah. them, right? yeah? Shall I um, take the video off there and send it to you? It's okay. I'll, I'll do that when I go home, yeah? So then, then you can have it and then you'll realise the way that, you're, that you need to and go. And yes, what mistakes I'm doing. And yeah, yeah, I'll just send that to you there. I'll make it private so no one else sees it, it'll just be you. Sorry. Right, yeah? But then you can sort of watch it, can't you? Mm -hmm. overtaking him and then, and then you slow down <laughs> <laughs> so probably when you're driving to work to get your confidence up yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a dual carriageway people can overtake you know mm -hmm. go along 45 50 depending on how clear the road is and then your confidence builds up doesn't it yeah mm -hmm. okay so um they're doing a lot of um, houses down here, to be honest with you. That's it, so just carry on. So it's about 30 there, but I don't think it's 30 yet. No? Yeah, it seems to be now, yeah. Okay, so just.
Now your best way to work is left here. So this roundabout you want to go left. So I think this would be the way that I would come um, if you were driving to work in Stafford. Yeah, I think it's because of the um, house building there. But normally it's quite it's reasonably clear. So mm -hmm. you just carry on down here. And we have to go straight ahead, right? Yep, you just carry on straight ahead and then I'll show you where to turn. Busy, isn't it? Mm How are you feeling? More confident? Mm -mm. Are we getting there? down here
You're looking at the red lights. It's, it's <laughs> uh -uh. But now these are red. Mm -hmm. So this is also a nice way of seeing Was wrong, right? Yeah. From the left lane. Yeah, he was. See them these off. Then you want to go right here, this roundabout. That's the third exit. Then the hospital is here somewhere. Yeah, next road on your right by the traffic light, yeah? No, but yeah, that's cool. That's a school, isn't it? Good one, it was easy. Sorry? It was easy. Easy trip, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I was pushing my deanery to keep me in the Royal Stroke. This because is, it's nearby. Yeah, of course, yeah. But this is an easy so, trip. But it seems like it's an easy trip. It's a very easy trip. There is a way that you can come through the, the town centre, lots of roundabouts, busy traffic. So I always find that's the easiest way. And I think it's shorter that way. Or maybe that way's shorter by half a mile, but that's easy. Do you see? Uh -uh. So it's 30 minutes almost. It's yeah. 30 minutes. 30 minutes.
So yes, easy one. If I'll get used to of it, it doesn't seem so hard. Seems very easy. Oh. Is it? Straight, pretty much. As long as it last turn at the roundabouts, there's mm -hmm. two two turns, but the rest of it's straight. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we go into the hospital, we we'll pull up, mm -hmm. and then I'll put it on the sat nav to take us home, so you can just get used to following the sat nav home. Okay. That'll work on it. <laughs> yes, definitely. I need to. <laughs> So do I still need to see if someone is... No, because on this one, it's held off. Because you, it's just like a designated lane to go around. And then just follow around here. Let's have a look here. Into here, left here. And then just pull up. Um, over here on the greens. Do you think? What they have here is a couple of electric charging points, can you see? Hmm. There you go. Is it okay? Yeah. So you need so if you've got yourself an electric car, hmm. just part there, done. Um sorry, no, that's weird. Anyway, so I'm gonna put it on the um sat nav so you can sort of follow it home yeah mm. what's your postcode st4 yeah six gt there you go now that might take you the the m6 but i can swap to that one there okay all right okay so follow that home see how this goes i'll try and back off not say anything yeah <laughs> proceed to the route then turn right just a little bit of gas so we need to steer because the handbrake was on yeah, keep in the left lane you can. Uh, trying to think of the way out. I can't remember. Yeah, I think you just follow up, don't you? Is that is it? Yeah, I think you just go. I think it's like a loop, if I remember. It just takes you around. Turn right, yeah. then turn right. Turn right. Yeah, it's right in there, yeah. yeah. Just a roundabout. At the next lights, turn left. I want you to keep the speed down here. It's only 15. <laughs> We're in, we're in like the hospital, aren't we? At the lights, turn left onto the A518. Left. Try and keep in your lanes, can you see? Uh oh. So, where is open? I would signal you. Yeah. I know a lot of people going there. In half a mile at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Beacon Side. Go past these lights, then at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Beacon Side. At the roundabout, take the first exit.
in 2.9 miles of the roundabout. Take the third exit onto the A34. I really like the um, the Apple Maps on car blades that you like use your phone mm -hmm. because it, it kind of breaks it down. Like so, if you have a look on the screen, it's 2.6 miles mm -hmm. until you have to do anything again. So that means you can relax and concentrate on the um, on the drive. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it'll come in with an audio warning that you're coming up to the next place you need to turn. Mm -hmm. a little bit sometimes your position gets like nearer the curb yeah mm. so here's a really easy way of doing it you see our lane you mm. see your left leg mm. try and keep your left leg mm. in the middle of our lane all right yeah so just imagine it yeah mm. so rather than thinking about the size of the car mm. just think about your body and your left leg you see by already doing that mm. your position is spot on Sometimes when you try and think about the car, you end up drifting one way or the other. Then once you've got that confident position, then you can look in those little mirrors. Can you see them? Mm. You can see the curb and you can see the white line. Mm. And then that gives you the confidence that you're never going to collide into these vehicles because you're both over the, the white line. Then on faster roads where there's traffic lights, again, always your eyes going to be focused to the red. Yeah, but naturally, postponed for that's why I make it red. But our light is the green light, yeah. So, you're obviously, going to keep in this lane. The red light is for going right, yeah. I always look behind now, um, and if the lights change now, I'm not going to suddenly panic and break. Mm. This one, can you see where it's over in the right lane? Right lane, but the lights have changed, you see, mm. okay. So 1.5 miles, yeah? But also what's quite good, there shouldn't be any other traffic lights unless they're temporary ones, because it says none there, so it's good. It's 27 minutes, it's Sorry. far. It's not far. It's about 14 miles, isn't that 15 miles, I think, from... Mm -mm. But if they, it would be a busy day, like a duty hours, maybe it's gone a little bit. Yeah, so maybe it'd be a, a bit more, you know, you'd have mm -hmm. to test wouldn't you at certain times. There you Take the third exit onto the A34. Oh, there you go. Tell you this one. That was my mistake. speed limit yeah when it's safer two you can't risk points on your license
roundabout. Take the third exit onto the A34. In 3.9 miles of the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. Speed limit here. It's 30. Okay. We know it looks faster, we know it's, but it's 30. And there are speed cameras here. And you, if you look behind, can you see them trying to push up? But it's definitely 30. Problem, isn't it? That's your peer group pressure. Everybody's pushing up, he's pushing up behind, and then we're the one that get the, the um, speed ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely 30. So now there's going to be two lanes, so straight back in the left. Can you see? Mm. Straight over. Yeah. Okay. And there they go. Do you see? Yeah. Mm. But it's definitely 30. Do you see? Mm. So you, you can see how people lose their licenses. They're pushed by these people. They know where the speed camera is. They slam all the brakes. The other person doesn't. Done. <laughs> per hour speed limit camera ahead.
mile at the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. Central thing, left leg. Left leg, more over. Well, At the roundabout, here. take the there, second mate. exit onto the A34. Keep bang on in our lane. one mile at the roundabout. Take the second exit onto the Phillibrooks. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto the Phillibrooks. Perfect. In 1.1 miles of the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Phillibrooks. per hour speed limit camera ahead. to the speed of the rain and then slows down to the automatic one. At 
the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Philip Brooks. First exit, so no, um, I wouldn't signal okay. on this one, yeah? So even that's the first exit, which you imagine is left, mm -mm. it's not, it's straight, there just isn't a left. So looking at the sat nav really helps, can you see? Mm. Otherwise it looks a bit confusing if you see the route marking you're pulling up. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Philibrooks. In a quarter mile at the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Philibrooks. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto the Philibrooks. A bit more left lane, can you see? Mm. Continue straight on, then use the left lane to keep left onto the end. And then you want to go straight ahead here again. Use the left lane to keep left onto the A34. In 2.3 miles of the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. per hour speed limit camera ahead. Roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. Speed. Speed. Hello. He's off your gas. <laughs> okay, I thought you 40 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. Please watch your speed. 40 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. Go a bit quicker. No, it's 40. Don't have to go down to 30, yeah?
the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. Middle line. Okay? It's middle line, just you say. Mm -hmm. Road markings are all for about means. But line. from the first lane, we can also go in the. Uh, no, because the, the left lane in is on the right lane. At the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34. Take the second exit onto the A34. That's why I'm saying to you that white line, your side, if you stay by it, not cross it, it always puts you in the correct lane for kind of going straight ahead. You see, yeah? Mm. Be careful here. Don't go unless you're 100%. In 1.3 miles of the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34 towards Newcastle New Line. While at the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34 towards Newcastle New Line. Our speed limit camera ahead. Go past these lights and at the next set at the roundabout. Take the second exit.
At the roundabout, take the second exit onto the A34 towards Newcastle New Line. Am I in the correct line? Sure, yeah. In 1.1 miles, I, turn I, right onto Gunnar I Gunner do personally Road. on that one, yeah. Even if there aren't the traffic lights? Mm, yeah, I do. I think it confirms it. Mm. Why? Why did you change lanes? Because I thought I, no, I have get, to go right. left here. Mm -hmm. 30 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. Problem is, right? I thought I should, I have to go right. Yeah, I, so. I think, even though you might be turning off, it's the, um, what do they call it? You're stopping other vehicles getting past, you see? Mm -hmm. 30 mile per hour speed limit camera ahead. In half a mile, turn right onto Godwin Way. How did you find that then, that journey? It was good. Was I think a uh, few more trips will make me more confident and it would be easier. Otherwise, I would have a bit scared. So, and keeping this right lane now. Carry on. Then the next set of lights, we're going to go right, but we're going to go into Aldi, all right, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go past these lights. Then at the next set, turn right. At the lights, turn right onto Godwin Way, then turn right. Break out up. Don't go over the lights. Mm. So sometimes once we are turning right mm. and these cars are also coming, yep. it, it's really difficult to view the back it of the... Is, it is. So I, what I always do is that. You see, Again, the road markings in Stoke are awful, but you can see the arrow and you can kind of see a line in front. Mm. So I move up to that, but a slight angle, so I I, I don't go over that, that other line there. I'll try and show you when we move mm. forward. Mm. But yeah, it's difficult. It's you, difficult yeah. sometimes because the first lane, the one that is turning this way, so it's obstructing the view. Yeah, it is definitely. But the one rule is if you're not sure, Mm. Don't go mm. until you can. You have to move your head, you would fractionally move your car. 
that's all you can do. Mm -mm. Here. So you pull over here, can you see? Mm. Just go forward a fraction more. You can go up the line. So you see here, if I look on the camera, you can kind of see this line here. Go forward a bit more. Yeah, and then you lean forward. But yeah, I agree with you. It's 100%. It's horrible. Yes. Yeah. I can see the last line, but yeah, the middle one, it's can't. obstructing. So you have to edge, look. Good. Right, so we're just going to go into Aldi's just for a few minutes, right here. Left here. Turn right, then the So we just follow around here. No, go that way. And we just drive directly into a bay. So one of these bays here. Shall I park? Yeah, just into a bay. Just keep your horse straight. <laughs> Just go forward and just drive into a bay. Can you see? Mm. Yeah, just drive in, it's fine. Pick a bay, steer quick. If you have a look, we're pretty spot on, I think. There you go, straight out your wheel. All done. Okay, so handbrake on, just relax, yeah? So, would that be the main journey that you'll be doing? That's going to be your biggest journey, isn't mm. it? Right, yeah? Okay, so here are some things just to, um, to think about, right, yeah? So first of all, you probably want to find that you um, right. So I would say that it's a very easy. From out here, it's just left and it's just straight, isn't it? Right here. Yeah? So I think if I make that little video for you, so you can, so it'll be about an hour and a half, but you can watch. Mm -mm. and then hopefully you'll you'll learn the road markings um but things to watch out for are your positioning right yeah is it possible that once you'll send me that video yeah the time that i'm doing some mistakes you will point that yeah out i can i can the, point that uh, out yeah. Like, yeah i can point out i can talk about the roundabouts uh, i can put an overall over thing on it mm -hmm. about the roundabouts but also the main ones i would think about for you on the faster roads majority of time your position is good but keep an eye on your position because you slightly go near mm. okay and if your concentration goes down you don't want to clip the curb that wouldn't be nice right yeah mm. so remember the things that i said have you got those mirrors on your car uh yes we bought it but uh, we haven't put it because we are not sure how to okay. put it just on the outer edge like that all right. Okay, they're just stickers on the back and they go on the out, outer edge like that because mm -hmm. what they do, can you see the lines? Mm -hmm. They're just very convex mm -hmm. so that they'll help a lot with your positioning. Mm -hmm. The other way to, to position is sometimes I see your vision dropping. So, so when you're driving, mm -hmm. it's very easy for the muscles in your neck to go down. So your actual vision is less. So you want to try and keep your vision long right okay mm. with that you'll see the way the road goes but if you're only looking here then you're right. always reacting on what's happening right? Right. yeah then try with there's different ways of keeping the position of, of your car one of them is the mirrors but the other way is try not to worry about the size of the car try and use something on you that's what i was saying if you look at the if you ever look at the car here you're sitting that side let me put a little dot here so that's going to be your leg, your left leg, all right, yeah? So your left leg now is pretty much in the middle okay. of the road. So rather than thinking about the car, you're just thinking about your body, which you're used to. Okay. That really helps, all right, yeah? So when I was saying that to you on the times, a lot of the times your position was suddenly coming back into a very... Um, 
very central position. I thought, yeah, that's good. But then there was other times we was drifting, and that I was just thinking to myself, oh, is it to do with you that the observation maybe you're dropping down? Right mm-hmm. now, here's the other thing that I used to suffer from when I started to learn to drive was that you're driving down the road mm-hmm. and you've got big vehicles um, overtaking you. Not so much overtaking you, but but coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So you're sitting on this side. And that's quite scary. Yes. It's really scary. So <laughs> your natural reaction is to slightly steer away. It's just natural, right? Yeah. Right. So there's there's two things that we're dealing with, right? Yeah. One is your emotional side, hmm. which is, oh my god, there's a big lorry coming towards me, get away from it. The other side is your logical side. And the logical side should be when you look in that little mirror, you can see the white line. Mm-mm. Okay, so mm-hmm. like there, you can see. Mm-hmm. You've probably seen it as you've gone along. If you see the vehicle coming towards you is not over the white line, then that's a logical side that says there's no way you can hit. Mm-mm. And then you just kind of get the confidence from that. So you you're then controlling the emotional side. You can yeah okay, I'm not going to panic anymore, right? Yeah. Your observation yeah. is good. Okay. <laughs> So, yes, I used to do that. Yeah, it's, so it's very, very common. But you have to keep on working on the on the logical side because that's the side that's going to help you. Mm. All right, yeah? So that's that. Now, once you've got your position straight in, if you notice, there was that... And I, I don't know whether how long that's going to be there for. You remember that 30 mile an hour? Mm. Okay, so the problem on that is when we saw it, we had lots and lots of vehicles pushing us forward. Um yeah they were just pushing us forward weren't they and and it's very easy to fall into that like oh i've got to go faster right mm-hmm. but the problem is it's 30. Mm-mm. it looks like a bigger road but they do have speed cameras there so you'd be the one person that drives through at 35 36 you get a ticket you can't afford a ticket Mm-mm. That's where it's coming from because mm. it's a six points, isn't it, in the mm. first two years? Where mm. the people behind, like I said, yeah, they go quick, they know the speed camera, they slow down. Oh, yeah. So, but it's horrible, isn't it? Because they're pushing up behind mm-hmm. you all the time. So, mm. watch your speed limit. And then, and you'll see on the video, we had the other one when it was 60 all the way down, and then it went to 40. And I had to come in because mm. I think you were doing about um, 49 or something mm. like that, just to bring that speed down again so you're 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 under control Mm-mm. on that um and then the rest of it yeah it's just a, it's, a, it's quite a simple simple trip you know at the beginning i think you said it's half an hour mm. i think and we wasn't speeding was me but it, it came in around about 20. really yeah because i was i was looking at that i know when you said to me it's um i might you, you can see on the tape how long it is but i think it was roughly 20 minutes so, uh, I w- you know, I was refusing this post just because I don't want to go to county. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it seems like and, a long way away. And it's, it's just 20 minutes. So Yeah, it's 20 minutes. I mean, obviously, you, you, you get traffic, mm-hmm. Trent Vale, but once you're across Hanford Roundabout, it's pretty straight, honestly. And, you know, and I'm, there is no here and there sign, so it's no, pretty straightforward. It's pretty straight, and, and you can get there, and you're straight in the car park, aren't you? Mm-mm. I was going to go a slightly different way. Like I said, yeah, there, there, there is. You can go that roundabout where we turn left through the town, but that's when you get more traffic, more complicated roundabouts, mm-hmm. a bit more stressful, and and the distance. I think we might have done half a mile more, Mm-mm. but on that one, it's pretty straight, and that, that will be covered. Yeah, and that roundabout's That's covered, curious. and then you get in there, and then you're not stressed, are you, mm. when you get into work? Mm. So it's, I think, that's quite positive. Yeah. yeah. If I was you, I'd, I'd, because the big step now is, right? Yeah. When you get your pass and you get your license, it's that step of doing it for yourself. Mm-mm. And it's very easy all the time to, what is it like, not. And then the then the, the fears build up. So maybe you should just like you and your husband just say right, okay, let's go stuff. He he's driving, he's going to his work and all yeah, here and all there. Good, yeah. But I haven't yet yeah. started. So maybe just Pick a day when you both got a day off and just drive to Stafford. Follow that because you can look at that video and you can say, okay, I've got that in my yes. mind. And then drive there. And then I think mm-hmm. once you've done it a few times, yes. you, your confidence will Mm-mm will build up yes. and, and then it's easy but yeah about 20 i reckon 20 25 minutes 
but what do you think like can i can i go safely like uh, what I, do you think with I, regard to the driving i think I'm, i think the, t- the two the two bits that i would say one speed mm. but that's an easy one mm. second one is position okay the more out the, the one that would scare me the most would be the position because obviously of that yeah. coming in it was about four times when mm. you'd slightly come near that so it's just focusing on those points so fit your mirrors Mm-mm have someone with you like you have been first of all and concentrate on your position but the, the looking up is important because you will see the road yes okay and the mirrors will help you and then obviously thinking about your mm. your your left leg mm. re- really helps as well yeah once you've got that then you you I think your position will get natural but the rest of the of it yeah I thought it was you know okay <laughs> Quick boosters, all right, isn't it? Yeah, go and take the job out there. <laughs> okay, so right. let's reverse out of here. <laughs> what I'll try and do is it, it'll take me about an hour or something, yeah. But I'll um I'll put that video on, but I'll I'll, I'll put in like a talk over for like the roundabouts, mm. so you can sort of it, it, it'll help you. Yeah? Steering me, yeah. Oops, yep. Steering is really important. <laughs>